Hi guys, I'm Ethan with Vice and Virtue Coffee, and I'm here to show you three different ways to do iced coffee. Um, we're going to start with a pretty complex brew um, on our V60, and then we're going to kind of work our way down to really simple methods that you can do at home without a scale or even without a timer. Um, so I'm going to start with the V60 recipe, and when we're brewing on a V60, we like to wet down the paper. Um, so I'm just pouring in a circular motion, trying to get this whole filter wet. Gonna get that water out of there and don't forget to dump your rinse water. Cool. I've already got my coffee ground. I'm gonna use 25 grams of coffee and 300 grams of water. This is a 12 to one ratio. And we're doing a flash, flash brewed iced coffee, which means that we're brewing at a concentrated ratio. And I'm gonna open that up with some ice after we're done brewing. So I'm gonna start by pouring a bloom. This is just to saturate the grounds. And this is going to be three times my coffee's weight. So I'm pouring 75 grams of water over the coffee bed, give it a vigorous swirl, and just kind of let that sit for about 40 seconds. All right, and at the 40 second mark, we're going to slowly pour the rest of our water in, up to 300 grams total. And I'm pouring in slow, concentric, spiral motions around the coffee bed. At 300 grams, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna give the brewer a swirl and a tap. And now we're gonna wait for it to drain. It should drain between two minutes, uh, two minutes and 30 seconds to about two minutes and 45 seconds. Um, so I've got my timer going right now. And it looks like this one's gonna drain on time. So now that our coffee's finished brewing, I'm gonna set my brewer off to the side. And I'm gonna weigh out some ice. With this recipe, we're gonna need 100 grams of ice or as close as you can get because ice can't be perfectly measured. All right, and that's my 106 grams there. So I'm gonna pour, pour the coffee over the ice, swirl it around a little bit, and then I'm gonna shake it because it's a really easy way to get this dilution happening a little bit faster. No, I lied. I'm not going to shake it because <laughs> it's a little bit too full. So I'm just going to stir it. Until all the ice is melted. And then when you're done, just grab a glass, fill it up with ice, and pour your flash brewed coffee into it. This is gonna have a lighter body than say a cold brew, but hopefully it's gonna trap more of those delicate flavors, those fruity flavors, and give you a nice bright cup of uh, essentially iced tea, but coffee. Enjoy.